Hey there, this is Kirsten Joy Weiss, and today I wanted to do some q and A. I I constantly get questions from you guys, so I just decided that I need to start a series that just answers some shooting tips and general questions about shooting. So today, I'm addressing a question from Todd in Minnesota, and he asked me, what is the importance of eye dominance, and how the heck do you find it? So, let me answer your question. There's one really simple way to find eye dominance, and that is to make a triangle with your hands and then hold it up to an object in the distance. Look through that triangle, and then slowly bring that triangle back to your eye. And now I'm gonna do it looking at you so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Now, as you can see, you'll see one of my eyes, and that would be my dominant eye. I'm gonna bring it back, and it looks like my right eye is my dominant eye. Now here's the catch. I have a problem where my eye dominance switches from left to right. So one day it'll be the right eye, another day it'll be the left eye. And a lot of people put importance on eye dominance. Now if you're just starting out, you wanna figure out which eye is the most dominant and then build your shooting positions around that. So if it's right eye, it would be right-handed, left eye, left-handed. But what happens when you switch? Well, you just shoot, because guess what? You can still shoot with the wrong eye being dominant. The only catch is when you're shooting a pistol, both eyes open, rifle, both eyes open, anything, both eyes open, even shotgun a little bit, because when I have both eyes open, they fight each other. And so I really just have to leave it up to instinct when I have both eyes open. But guess what? Either eye can be the dominant eye when you're doing precision, because you're either gonna close one eye or you're gonna have a blinder over this eye when you're shooting so you can keep both eyes open, which is ideal. But you have that blinder right over that non-dominant eye or even the dominant eye, and it doesn't matter. Instantly the one that's open becomes your dominant eye. So I hope this helped you, Todd in Minnesota, and I hope it helped the rest of you guys. If you think this tip could help somebody learning how to shoot or who's been shooting for many years but is really concerned about eye dominance or how to find it or is even curious, share this with them, please. So I'll see you next time. Thanks for joining me. Aim true and happy shooting. Here's some Joy Weiss. It's the hair in the mouth. And shooting tips sort of thing. And cha 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 cha. I have invisible mariachis. <laughs> oh, mariachis, wait, no, maracas. Maracas. I'm not Mexican, I'm sorry.